Holy smokes, it has happened and it is confirmed. I have hit that milestone, that first milestone. It took me a long time and over 600 videos, but I've hit 100 subscribers. Cue applause and cheering right here. No? All right. Yeah, it may not seem like much for some people, but <laughs> it's taken a long time for me to get to this point. So, hey, awesome. Awesome. So what does that mean? Well, it means I gotta have a contest. Apparently that's the way YouTube works, right? You hit 100 subscribers, you have a contest. I, I think it's in like the, the rules and regs when you open an account on YouTube. I could be wrong, but I think it must be in there somewhere. So yeah, contest time. Well, let's go over the rules. You gotta be a subscriber. Why? Because, well, it's just, this is how I got here, right? 100 subscribers. You gotta be a subscriber to get into the, the contest, right? It just, just it's just the way it works. Um, if you want to like the video, that would be awesome too. You don't have to, but you know, it is a contest video. If you don't like contest videos, then what do you like? Seriously. Um, it's open to everybody all over the world. It will run until the end of March 31st. So come, you know, 12.01 a.m. on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Yeah, no, I won't be that mean. I won't post, like, some video with Big Bird as the winner or something like that. I, don't worry, don't worry. April Fool's, it will not be an April Fool first video that I post, you know, with the winners. Don't worry about that. But April 1st, 2012.01 a.m., April 1st, Eastern Standard Time. Keep that in mind, all you people all over the world. So some of you people, you know, across the pond will probably get a little bit of extra time, or less time, actually, I guess less time people on the west coast get more time. I don't know whatever you know the time zones time zone stuff Woo! it's that uh, timey-wimey stuff so yeah I will open it up to comments and video responses comments will get one entry video responses will get three entries so you know obviously there's more emphasis on video responses um, if you do do a video response make sure to link it down below in the comments if you're on firefox and you're having troubles yes hey guess what it's not your fault it is it is the almighty google um coming down and making it so your web browser cannot copy and paste into um youtube so what you can do is open up chrome Download Chrome, that's the Google browser, you can then copy and paste, that's what I do. You know, I run, I've got multiple browsers, right? So I, whatever one works on whatever site, that's the one I'll use for that particular uh, item. Because I do know people have problems with, you know, saying they can't copy a, a link down below. Um, and uh, yeah, but I need that link. If I don't have that link, I can't find you. Um, so yeah, like I said, one entry for a comment down below, um, three for a video response. It's an either or. So if you do do a video response and a comment, you only get the three for the video response. You don't get four, just so you know. You can't do both. Well, you could do both, but why? Um, what you need to do is answer the question. What is your favorite genre or subgenre of film and why? Um, you know, if it's doing a video response, at least, you know, make it a little bit longer. If you're doing a comment, it doesn't have to be some huge uh, backstory seven page <laughs> comment. I think there probably is a limit on characters, but it's it's one of those things where it could be, a, you know, a main genre. It could be action. It could be horror. It could be sci fi. It could be drama. It could be documentary. Or it could be a subgenre like, you know, slasher films, aliens, um, uh, courtroom dramas. Uh, period dramas, um, adventure films, whatever, right? It could be little creature films, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. You know, pick a genre that is your favorite. Um, you know, the one above all others, the one that you would most gravitate to and let me know why. Um, to give you a small hint on me, mine is mostly a horror sci-fi um, that gender blender of combinations. I love films like the Alien series and the Predator series, um, Independence Day, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, in the big blockbusters. And I even like, the, you know, the medium ones, the Critters, um, 
that type of thing, uh, you know, go into the little monster f films, or you can get really, really uh, off the beaten track. Um, or, well, you know, you can pick uh, something a little bit old school and go, you know, any one of these suckers, Roger Corman films, right? Um, I just, yeah, I love the, the, the blending of the sci-fi um, as well as giving it like a, a little bit of a horror aspect, be it, you know, gore or uh, a creature or whatever. Um, and, you know, some are more horror than others. You know, I, I put Abyss in there, even though the aliens aren't necessarily evil, but they are aliens. Aliens are monsters. Monsters are horror. So, but at the same time, then you get, you know, films where the aliens are evil, like aliens, and they're trying to kill you. And those are uber horror, almost more than they are sci-fi. Mm, you be the judge. But anyways, that, that's what I would pick for mine. You can pick whatever you want. Just let me know, either comment or video response. Um, but I'm sure you want to know what you can win. There's going to be only one winner since this is the 100 subscriber. One, one winner. But there are two choices. You can pick the first group which is going to be four Blu-rays, which I'm going to show you now so you know what it is. Uh, some mainstream horror, The Woman in Black. Some mainstream sci-fi with Mad Max. Again, these are all brand new, sealed. Some animation with the DVD Blu-ray combo of Dumbo. And something a little bit more obscure with House on Straw Hill. This is, I believe, the Strictly Limited Edition first 3000 contained bonus DVD ban the sadist videos so it's definitely something or you can pick option number two which is mystery box now I don't have a box here because I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet um, I will say there will be some movies of some format they may be new they may be used they may be blu-ray they may be VHS who knows um, and there's gonna be other stuff it could be any it could be I don't know candy it could be uh, posters or toys or, or you know stuff that I'm into comics maybe um, could be anything could be collectibles uh, you never know what's going to be in there um, but uh, yeah definitely something that uh, you should keep your eyes on because hopefully it goes to a video response winner who can then do a video response unboxing honestly I hope whoever wins and if they choose the mystery box opens it up because I do you know it's one of those things with mystery boxes you gotta love as people are pulling out a trying to figure out what some of the stuff is and b just the expressions on their faces that's one of the reasons why I love mystery boxes as a prize um, and why I'm doing a mystery box as a second option here so you can go with the prize of you know something you know or something you don't so yeah good luck to all those who enter Looking forward to seeing your your um, entries come. Again, you have roughly about a month. Um, it's until the end of March. So, good luck. And I look forward to seeing what you uh, submit. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.